She's like, I want to see the whole finished process. And on Instagram, we had a cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But the pink army, oof, they took, they had to take their claws out. Hi, love. Hi. Oh, that's sweet. I'm gonna pinch it to make sure we make it really nice and skinny, so that way it looks very sculpted. Yay! So Sherry, at the end of the video, is going to pick a winner. Hi, thanks for joining us. I like when Antonio says, no need to beg. And you guys can see, I'm using my finger to pat the gel into the one, two, three, go now. That's how fast and easy it is. Hi, thanks for watching. Minnesota Vikings. Is that your t um, football team? The Minnesota Vikings? Me? No, no, no. Yes. Oh, do you love them? Aren't they? Yeah, send an email and then include the um, the a picture of the packing slip and a picture of what you got. So let's freeze things. Oh, I did see Jeepers Creepers too. I haven't seen the. I've never seen the first one. No. It's okay. Yeah, that's one I've seen. And they're rebooting it, so the next one comes out really soon too. Thank you. Want to use your products? Only the best. Yep. I appreciate that. That's really sweet. I only like the Vikings when they win. Are they not that good of a team? I know their colors are like purple and gold because they used to have a client that. I was like, oh, it must be football season because she would come in with like gold eyelashes and like purple eyeshadow to her eyebrows. I think it was because her husband was from Minnesota. from Denmark, land of Bridget Nielsen. Yes. But I was never a big fan of Betty White. No. Really? Well, the only thing I can think of was the Golden Girls, and I never got into it. But I know some people love the Golden Girls. She was in Lake Placid? The movie about the crocodile? Really? I don't remember. Really? A little old Betty White? Maybe she did it on purpose. <laughs> you can't go wrong with diamonds. They are a girl's best friend. How old was she? Like, almost a hundred, right? Oh, she barely missed, yeah. I think I'm January 17th. She was going to be a hundred? A hundred. So they did, um, like, because she liked the animals and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
take that one minute. Wow. Did she have any children or anything like that? No? I know Gloria Gaynor never had any children. <coughs> oh, I think I did see. Wow. A lot of people like Betty White. A lot of younger people. Probably have plastic surgery too. Yeah, for sure. Gloria's not here today. Oh, I'm glad that the angle is good. Nobody's complained. You can rewatch this video and you can follow all the prep steps that we do and you can see how we do it step by step. And that's in all the videos where I apply nails on a model, you can see how we prep. Does it look good on your side? On your it looks like it, yeah. A little blurry? Has anybody complained? Maybe it's the Wi Fi in here. probably had a, at least a facelift. All those actresses from back in the day, they all had surgery. Even Marilyn Monroe had surgery. <coughs> um, what was the wire hanger lady? It's better now. Uh, the what? The wire hanger movie lady. What was her name? Oh, um, Mother Dear? Oh. Yes. Not Joan Collins, Joan Crawford! Okay, nope, she never did unless you count her teeth. <laughs> Joan Crawford, um, she had her back teeth pulled out so that way her cheeks were more sunken in. No way! Mm -hmm. I saw um, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte um, the day I went to go watch Scream. I watched it at home, but I was actually disappointed. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Mm -mm. I think I like um, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane better. Have you ever seen that? <gasps> You've never seen Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? <gasps> That's a movie with Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. That is such a good movie. She is living for the fantasy. Isn't that beautiful? Sherry's very busy planning a wedding, well, helping plan a wedding. Even though it's not hers. It's kind of, indirectly. Ooh, Sherry, did I tell you that I'm thinking about getting another tummy tuck? Yeah. Yeah, I do. If you're new to this channel, <laughs> and you didn't know that I used to be 544 pounds, was my biggest on record, or big, biggest recorded, and I've had two skin removal surgeries, but I'm looking at having another one, because there's still some jiggle jiggle that needs to be cut off. But the doctor said that the only way that I can get the result, or 
that I need would be a floor de lis tile. And that's where they cut you like an upside down tea. So they basically butcher you like a cow. Oh, really? Mm hmm. They cut you down the middle, like right here, and then they do the tummy tuck squat. So get ready. Just down. So now I'm going to use the verse bit. Oh, hello! Blend in the cuticle now, really refine it so that way it's really photoshopped. It's the products, thank you. Hi, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. tell you about when you have like weight loss surgeries all the side effects and the other things you need to get cut off because one tummy tuck is not gonna do it Ooh, and then I started watching I like the clips of the 90 day fiance have, do you watch that show oh, there's this one lady that she's like dating a Chinese guy and he's never met her before but she's like I have a lot of problems because I'm a big girl and she's like, but I tell them I'm a big girl, but then they meet me and then they realize I'm a really big girl. And then like these older women dating like these guys in Arabia. And then one of them, she told them that she wanted him to sleep with her. And the guy's like, oh. Oh, thank you. Hi. Hello, love. Beautiful. She is blended. It's one of the dance. And then I think no one again is on the other one, too you propose to somebody yeah. and then the thousand pound sisters too yeah if you're ready for it it's a very strong psychological decision and I was really lucky that I had a really um, blunt doctor that was very straightforward and the things that he said um, resonated with me, and like I always remember them. Like he said, I can control how much you put in your mouth, but I can't control what you put in your mouth. So you better make smart choices. And then when I had the meeting with the nutritionist, he said, uh, You don't see a pig sucking on a cow. Why should a human? Because he told me that I should stop consuming after I have the um, bypass surgery, consuming um, cow products like milk and cheese. Oh, really? He said they're really bad for you. So if I have cheese, I, it actually makes me sick because my body's not used to it, like it used to. Because your stomach is basically like a baby afterwards. So you have to train yourself to eat and make really, really conscious choices. Bold gao. And a lot of people lose weight and then they get it back. And this year actually marks my 10 year anniversary that I did it. Valentine's Day is 10 years. Yeah. And I remember I was like, oh, if I lose 100 pounds, you know, I'll be happy. And I lost 100 pounds and it wasn't that noticeable. No, I had full-blown uh, bypass. Gastric bypass. And I still have, um, it's been 10 years and I still have uh, some of the normal side effects like uh, bile, or if I eat too fast, I get sick. I don't eat and drink at the same time. That's something that I always uh, was really disciplined on too. Nothing that's carbonated. Oh, thank you. I don't do any carbonation at all. 
And I remember when I first had the surgery, I had dreams about uh, drinking soda. Oh, really? Mm hmm And I remember in my dream, I could feel the, the bubbles. Oh, thank you. But then there's lots of other side effects that, you know, the doctors don't tell you about. Like hair loss, your skin becoming, yeah, hair loss is a huge, huge side effect. Which is really sad. But then it also it shows that they were not ready for the, the lifestyle change. So we're gonna use gel polish 71. Really? Hair loss is a really common one, like nausea, throwing up. But she's really lucky if she didn't. I take, um, because I'm always on a diet, so my hair is never really full because your body doesn't get as many nutrients as it used to. Because you have to take into, like, think about it, like, you went from being 544, so you're consuming a lot of calories and a lot of things, versus to taking that down dramatically. Or longer. Thank you. Ten years, I can't believe it. Went by so quickly. And because it takes for like a lot longer for the inflammation to go down because it's internal. I remember like I ate one shrimp and I just threw it right up and it was just like white foam. And you have to start eating really slow and eating like uh, baby food. But I remember like when I was really big and I would have to fly, the um, tray table wouldn't close on me. And I remember the first time the tray table closed on me, I felt so accomplished. So beautiful. Let's bake that 30 seconds. Get that baked on it. You know, I'm glad I did the surgery when I was slightly older and also um, my mom really kept me in check. Because she was like, oh my god, I'm so scared. When you go to sleep, I, I'm, I'm worried that you're not going to wake up. And my snoring went away. Yeah. I think so. And 
I'm gonna be, I need actually more of the big ones. I need one more so that way it matches that hat. I'll be right back, you guys. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> It's 51. Because they pump you up with um, helium because they do it laparoscopically. So they're like, you have to fart when you first do it. And I don't remember that. And then one of my cousins was like, are you skinny now? And I was like, it's not magic. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I hear this giant diamond fantasy using bubblegum gel and clear actually. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Sherry is ready for Bojangles with this diamond. Mm -hmm. Let's freeze up for 10 seconds. So now we're gonna apply diamond gel over the entire nail surface. Diamond gel. And diamond gel is an all-in-one adhesive top coat gel for small to medium diamonds. And we're just getting started. And I had a drain also for like a week or so. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. To make them a few sets to get infected or? What was it drained for? I think for fluids, because it would leak and I would have to like swatch it out. Oh, okay. And now a lot of people are doing the um, balloon. The gastric balloon. Because it's quick and easy. Oh, really? Mm hmm. It's great if you want to lose like 30 pounds or something like that. Oh, thank you. And I would totally do this surgery again. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. And then can you imagine being as big as I was? Huh? 
how much did um did you uh you lose Mary? Oh, thank you. A small person. <laughs> sure, you do not weigh more than 120 pounds. Lie. <laughs> You're like, that was yesterday. You're like, um, this just fit not that long ago. <laughs> I think it's so crazy that eating healthy is so expensive, too. But for like 10 bucks, you can get so much food at like Jack in the Box or McDonald's. But for 10 bucks, you can't even get anything that's healthy. But unhealthy food is so delicious though. Did they have complications? No, don't go into it scared. You just have to have faith and you know, that person's time was their time to go. I actually had mine done in Mexico because I couldn't afford it here. I think here it was like $24,000 or something like that plus all the other expenses. So I had it done in Mexico for $9,000. Ooh. And the older you are when you have the surgery, the, the higher the risk too the more likely you are to have complications and things like that from the surgery. Because it is such an uh, aggressive surgery. Did we reach a hundred? Oh, yeah, we did reach a hundred. I forgot about that. So it's going to be hard for you to choose a winner. A lot of people go to Mexico and do it. And the doctors in Mexico, because they are more affordable, they do more volume of surgery. So sometimes it's better because they have more practice doing it. Because versus a doctor here that might do, you know, a few a week, 
In Mexico, they do maybe like three or four a day. And the doctor I went to was recommended by... I think we're to mouth, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know if a lot of insurance cover it, but some insurance pay for it. Also, some governmental programs too, like Access. I know Access covers it. Access is like, uh, what is Access? Low income? Expensive? So we're gonna add diamond gel around the edges of the bigger diamonds to really seal them in because we don't want them to go anywhere. So sparkling. So I'm gonna take my liner zero brush from the Lunar New Year collection and we're going to add diamond gel to the edges. So I don't have insurance, so I had to pay for it out of pocket. That's what I would have. Oh, thank you. Don't you just love our rhinestones? And they're so affordable too. They cost a fraction of an Austrian crystal. And they shine just as much and they have no lead. They're gonna have a bachelor party because they're gonna everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, look at her nails. At Ojos Locos! That's where they should have the bachelor party at. Or the bachelor. They're probably gonna go to Vegas. Beautiful. Let's bake it for one whole minute. Do I have a video on how to clean your brush? I'm pretty sure I do. We have... Yeah, do you know how many videos we have now? In total? 10.5 thousand videos. That's a lot. In roughly the span of about 10 years. So that's about a thousand videos a year that we make. That's a lot of videos. And you can also use Afterpay. We have Klarna too, so we have two options for you to uh, shop online for the fantasy. Because you gotta shop till you drop. Thank you. In the Netherlands. Let's check, make sure everything is nice and dry. Let's do this thumb a little bit longer. I would want to do that before. 
really easy to lose like 20 pounds on it. Yeah. They, it's almost like a boo, like a breast implant, and they put it down in your esophagus, and then they fill it up with saline, and it stays in there for like up to six months. And it takes space in your stomach, so that way you eat less. You love it? So beautiful. So sure. Now comes the hard part. You have to pick a winner for today's video. Who is it going to be? They're just going to live in the U.S. and they have not ha and not have one within the last 60 days. Um, Amy. Amy, where do you live, Amy? Thank you. Hi. Focus camera. Okay. Look at how the rest are shine. They're like on fire. She lives in Minnesota. Minnesota Vikings. So only when they're winning. <laughs> only when they're winning. So Amy. Email info at enocouture.com and let them know you're the winner for today's live giveaway for Facebook and we'll send you out a little prize. Well, I lost. That's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this very fun, very sparkly, blingy design. And what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next demo. Bye.